Thank you, Mr. Schoensberg. There are rights in the political spectrum, like freedom of speech, and in large part, my freedom of speech does not really impinge on you. I mean, I can, you got to listen to me, I guess, but that's about it. In economics, when we talk about rights, if you have a right to health care, that means someone is responsible through the taxpayer dollars for picking up the tab. And we need to be really clear that that's what we're talking about. A right implies someone else has to pick up the bill. Uh, if you're going to insist on government solutions, this is one of many areas where it shouldn't be a federal solution. It ought to be state and local. Too many times we take a state and local problem and we ask a congressman, what are you going to do about it? And they get nervous and think, oh, I've got to do something. Um, I'll do something federal. So then we send our state and local monies to Washington, D.C., and what do they do? They take a cut, and they send it back to us with strings attached, and they say, here's how you're going to fix the problem. Wouldn't it be a lot smarter to say, let's do it as a state and local solution? Let's not send the money to Washington and get strings back. Let's deal with the problem here instead of letting their middleman take a cut. The problem with insurance, ironically, is that we have too much of it. Uh, it turns out, if you think about insurance, it's usually for catastrophic rare events. Auto insurance, fire insurance, your house burns down, you have an accident, that's when insurance kicks in. Health insurance is not really insurance to an economist. Insur it's, uh, it covers everything from allergy shots to cancer. Imagine auto insurance like that. Every door ding, every oil change would be covered at 80 to 95 percent. What would happen to the cost of an oil change? What would happen to the cost of a door ding? What would happen to the paperwork generated by auto insurance companies? What would happen if your auto insurance came with your job and you were between jobs? You still have to worry about portability and pre-existing auto conditions. All these problems come from insurance covering way too much. We don't have the political will, I don't think, to deal with this solution straight up. The best answer we have is to allow the market to work. Premiums are getting more expensive. We're drifting towards catastrophic coverage. And the, the health savings accounts that Mike mentioned are probably the best thing we can do to transition towards uh, where we need to go in about 10 years.